What's the deal, y'all? It's Jay Chef, aka Everyday Shooter here, back again with another one. Now, this is the second half of another video. I didn't get to really participate in all the events like I really wanted to at the regular meetup last week, this past weekend. Um, but that was because, one, I had my battery died away from the, the original site where everybody was at. So I, could, I had one or two choices. I could shoot where I was at, which had, you know, 25, 50, 100, you know, everything that they had over there, except it was just a little bit more rigid as far as rules and everything. Or I could try and lug all of my stuff back to at least like two, three blocks in the heat through the damn woods to get my stuff there. So I just opted to go ahead and shoot my stuff where it was right next to the car. By the time I got a jump and everything by the dude who was there, keep in mind my car was, was locked with the battery dead and for some reason my key will not open the door. So <laughs> I'm, I'm at the mercy of my key fob. So everything was locked in the trunk. So I couldn't even bring out my toys like I really wanted to at the regular meetup. But there is hope. There is gonna be another one probably next year, but there's probably gonna be one in between. And there's people that's already hit me up saying, man, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you invite me? You know what? Okay, let's do it again, right? That's all I'm saying. Let's just do it again. So if you got anybody, who would enjoy, who would be bringing something to the table. Don't just come up there just trying to, you know, pocket watch and, and, and things like that. But we can do this again, you know what I mean? We don't need to have an entire nation of people to come down here. We got plenty of people here in Houston that can do these type of things. Like-minded people getting together, doing something productive, uh, meeting people, networking, things like that. Always a good thing. So y'all hit my line. You got my, my information, go ahead and hit in the comments. Go ahead and hit my Instagram message. If you don't have the Instagram, it's TX Everyday Shooter. Um, so y'all go ahead, y'all hit me up. We're gonna do this again. I'm telling you, RGG, you were an inspiration, bro. I'm telling you, I got the blueprint now. You done messed up. Anyway, one thing that I didn't get to show that I really wanted to show while I was out there is one of my new toys. I got a new toy here. I'm not gonna go too in depth. I'll probably do a video as far as a review on it, but I've got here I'm not even gonna say it's a GoPro, cause it's not a GoPro. Them GoPros is like 400, five, what, what, 400, even on sale, it's like 350, right? So they got 4K, they got rock steady stabilization technology, things like that, so it doesn't shake, all that. This thing has the exact same thing. It has everything that the GoPro has, except it was only 200. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all some of the footage that I got. This is the first time I've ever used it, so realize that I'm probably gonna get better with this. Um, but this is the very first footage that I've taken with this camera. So I think it could add something to the, something to the channel. Y'all let me know if you like it. Tell me what you'd like to see with it. Obviously, I, can, I can't I do any and everything with it. But I'm going to try and do as much as I can with it. I got a couple different mounts, including the head mount. It's going to go down, y'all. All right, guys. So here we have it. This is the DJ Osmo Action, action camera that I just purchased. Uh, I got it off of... Amazon, like I said, like I mentioned before, the GoPro Heroes, they run about, uh, about 400 bucks uh, on sale. I think they're like 350, something like that. But this one right here, uh, brand new, got here like the next day. It was only like 189 with tax, it was like 200 bucks. You see how small it is, it's the palm of my hand. So let me see how small it is. I'm about to go ahead and get into the footage. I'm not gonna hold y'all. But we're gonna go ahead and get into the footage and give you just an idea of what kind of stuff. And this is, like I said, this is the very first time I've ever used it. So imagine if I'm getting these type of shots off the very first time using it, what I can do when I once I really get the hang of it. Y'all stay tuned, I'm gonna show you what's up. All right, y'all, so y'all see the ins and outs of the camera. Here, I've got it mounted on this little system, this little rig right here. I'm not gonna go into detail on that because I ain't getting paid by them to do that. I just wanted to go over the camera a little bit, but that's mount. It's a uh, it's a competitor uh, provided. So, but anyway, the here we had the camera once again. This is the mount. We're gonna go ahead and mount it to a couple of different uh, rifles that I got just to see what kind of footage uh, we can get and see what we're working with and see some of the capabilities and the functions that come with this app uh, that that you that helps you operate it. So. Y'all ride with me here. I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do. Alright y'all, so y'all see from the first footage that it did 
didn't quite come out as far as the the brightness of from the shade of the pavilion to the brightness of the outside of the shooting range they kind of it had a little bit of trouble so uh that was like i said that was the very first time i had ever used it i'm still trying to get used to the settings i've got a couple of tutorials <laughs> off of youtube obviously big shouts to youtube got a couple of youtube uh, tutorials that i'm watching to help me get you know a little bit more uh, proficient with the camera and get it to do some of the things that i wanted to do um but that's not bad for the very first shot let's go to the next one see that Draco ain't no punk, right? The, the concussion alone from that Draco just was too much for that mount. So I've got to find a way to tighten it up a little bit um, so that it won't it won't move uh, whenever I shoot, shoot the Draco or any other uh, harder hitting caliber. Um, but let's go back to 5.56. Let's see if that has a little bit uh, better luck. I've also got a longer, uh, a longer barrel for a 7.62. So we're gonna see if that makes a difference also. y'all see, see what this little beauty can do you see what it is half the price can't beat that uh, on 4k the only difference with the gopro is 5k uh, i believe the stabilization is a little bit more robust with the uh with the gopro hero uh like eight or nine uh, but like i said for extra 200 bucks i could buy two of these for the same price uh, they got warranty on them. They got uh, waterproof up to 11 meters. Uh, for y'all who don't realize what that is, that's 33 feet. So most of you not going to be anywhere near 33 feet deep. So this camera should be able to handle whatever you throw at it. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot of shock 
uh, to it, like dropping it and things like that. It does come with a lens cover. If you see right there, you can take that off and replace it with a new lens cover. But I don't plan on beating it up, you know, like just to see if it works. Like if they want to send me one, I'll do that for them. But I'm not going to use my own stuff to beat it up just for y'all's sake. I love y'all, but I don't love y'all that much. All right, so um, y'all make your own judgment. I'm happy with the purchase. I'm going to try and see if I can make it a lot better than it is. Y'all let me know what you think. If you got any suggestions, comments, uh, anything you'd like to see me use it on, let me know. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.